We are celebrating Overland's 31st Senior Citizen Celebration. We invite senior citizens in our community and we celebrate with a catered dinner. We have performances by our jazz choir, jazz band, our cheers, and it's just a fun night where our students and our elders in the community get to interact in a positive manner and build some really cool relationships. I just like to hear like their perspective and what they think of things. If they went to Overland here, just like interacting with people is just like, you know, nice and fun. It's fun to see the kids and get to see the music and the get information on what the plays are coming. Not, we can come to those plays and they're free. I've heard a couple comments tonight is they love the fact that they're greeted from the minute they step either off their transportation, the bus, or um, their, from their parked cars as they approach. We have our cheers and palms there, our National Honor Society students. They greet them with a smile. Um, they mingle with them, they chat with them, talk to them about what things are going on here at Overland, and they just love that interaction with the students. That's the other favorite part for them at this event. The seniors just say that Overland is just like my home, and every time that they come here, they just feel like welcomed and part of the community. Everyone's just so nice to them. And so they come every year, and even more seniors come and join. I think the value is, for a lot of students, their only interaction with senior citizens is their grandparents. So this puts the teenagers and the elderly to kind of mesh and um, interact with one another in a positive setting. This is one of the events that Overland is prideful on because we're the only ones that do it in the district. And like I said, this is our 31st year.